Suzanne from Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the single chain bracelet. This is a beginner level design. To make this bracelet you will need 13A colored bands, 12B colored bands, and a C-clip. I will be using red and yellow for this bracelet and I recommend that you use the same colors if this is your first time. If you don't have a band organizer like mine, I suggest you write A and B on a piece of paper and put the bands by these letters. This will help you keep track of your bands while you are placing and looping. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Notice that the curved sides of the pins are facing you. You will use the curved sides of the pins to pull your bands against as you place them. Start by placing the first band on the loom. You start from the center pin and we'll use our A or our red band and stretch it from the first middle pin to the outside pin. Then push that band down. The next band you'll place from this pin. It will be your B or your yellow band and then you stretch it to the middle and slide it down. Where that band ended you'll place your red band out to the right and then you'll go back to your yellow band and stretch that to the left. You'll continue alternating colors as you place your bands in a zigzag pattern. So we place red and then yellow. Try not to twist the bands as you place them on the pin. You grab the band between your fingers, pinch it, put it over a pin, stretch it beyond the next one, and then let go. Now that we've placed all the bands on the loom, we're ready to start looping. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as you loop the first two bands. Hold your hook with the open side facing away from you you'll use the flat part of the hook to pull the bands back as you loop them. We'll start from the second pin. This is the first pin where we have two bands on that pin. We'll be looping the bottom band, which is our B colored band or our yellow band, forward. You use the back of your hook to pull the red band back. Grab your B band or your yellow band and pull it around the left pin. Notice how it forms that teardrop shape. Then you place your hook in the channel of that pin, pull these bands back, and you grab your red band, lift it up and over, all the way around, tilt your hook forward and release. Now we'll be looping our yellow band. 
Again, notice the teardrop shape. That's the last band that you looped. You place your hook in the corner of that teardrop. Pull the bands back. You're grabbing the bottom band on the pin, which is your B band or your yellow colored band, lifting it up and over the lip of this pin, pulling it around the other. Again, the teardrop indicates the last band that was looped. You place your hook, pull that back. You're grabbing the bottom band on the pin in your hook, lifting it up and over and all the way around. We continue this looping process for each of the bands. And then the last band will be looped to the center pen. Now we're ready to finish the bracelet. Slide your hook down through the channel of this last pin and pull your bands out to this pin. You'll attach your C-clip to this area right here. Grab your C-clip with the open side facing toward you. Snap it over the bands. And once that's on there securely, you can lift your single chain bracelet from the loom. At the end of the bracelet, you'll have this open band. You can grab the band in the middle, like that, and then on the other end of your bracelet, secure the bands to one side of your C-clip, and then attach your C-clip to the your bands on your other hand, pull the opposite direction, and there you have your finished single chain bracelet. <laughs>